Well, college game day is visiting Clemson this week as the fifth ranked Tigers host the 4 0 and 10th ranked Wake Forest Demon Deacons. NC State pulling off the upset last weekend double overtime thriller in Raleigh. Their first win over a top 10 team in 10 years. With Wolfpack as college football senior writer Pete Thamel joins us from Clemson. So Pete, uh, you spoke to a few sources this morning about DJU. What are they saying about what has changed for the Clemson quarterback this season? Well, really, Hannah, everything's changed for DJ Ui Ungalai. Four games into the season, he already has more touchdown passes than he did all of last year. He lost 35 pounds in the offseason. He's averaging 4.1 yards a carry. But the most important thing my sources stressed to me was Clemson really tailored their offense around his strengths. He's still a big guy. He's hard to take down. The threat of both the run and the pass has diversified Clemson's offense, and the result is he's completing 10% more passes, 64%, than he did last year. Yeah, both teams uh, coming in at 4-0 this season. A first conference game for NC State. Uh, it'll be a really interesting litmus test uh, for both teams to see where they are. Meanwhile, I want to move on to number 18, Oklahoma, facing TCU tomorrow at noon Eastern on ABC. Who is a player that we should be on the lookout for? Somebody on a big stage that might have a breakout game. Yeah, Hannah, I really think TCU's Quinton Johnston, who some NFL scouts projected as high as a first-round pick at wide receiver this year, is a player who we haven't seen a ton of. TCU is a bit of an enigma. They blew out Colorado, they blew out Tarleton State, and they, had, they had, didn't have much trouble with SMU last week. Quinton Johnston has only caught eight balls, but he's only played seven quarters. Look for him to be a focal point of TCU's game plan against the Sooners, and if they pull an upset, that touchdown uh, line on his stat line, which is at zero right now, will mm -hmm. likely have to change. Right, and you mentioned how well regarded he is. So right now he's Mel Kuyper's fourth projected wide receiver in the draft, but certainly a lot of football to play between now and then would be a great chance to make an impression tomorrow. Uh, Pete, we look forward to seeing you and the gang on game day. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.